when we first traveled to Tanzania, Ashley was only 11 years old. And when we went to Tanzania, she always said, I expected to be amazed by the wildlife, which she said I was, but it was the people who completely changed her life. It was an experience that truly changed my life forever. Uh, while I was there, I met kids who were my same age, who didn't have the chance to go to school, who had to work to make a living. And at the same time, uh, the people that I met while there were some of the most resilient, hardworking, uh, kindest people. She couldn't reconcile why they were working on the side of the road and she had so many educational opportunities back in the U.S. So I returned home, uh, committed to try to find a way uh, to help support the people that I had met while there. And along the way, um, I happened to uh, meet a couple. They had started uh, a Maasai girls school in Tanzania, the very first of its kind. And uh, when Ashley heard them talk about that school, she really knew that she had found exactly the way that she wanted to be able to help learned about just how powerful girls' education can be and transforming the landscape of opportunities for, for young women, but for families, for entire communities. And so I started Africade. We were able to raise enough money to provide scholarships for 10, Ten girls. girls way back yeah. at the very beginning, 20 years ago. 10 girls. Today, we have, just through our mentoring programs, we now have close to 12,000 girls who have either been mentored and gone yeah. through those programs or are currently going through them. We support two main programs, one that's focused on younger girls that is really life skills oriented, uh, and then a program uh, two years uh, in length for girls at the older end of secondary that really focuses on leadership and entrepreneurship. We've built classrooms. We provided school lunch programs. We did a, a very groundbreaking program. teacher training program. And so countless other people have also been impacted by, by Africase. First and foremost, we have always been reliant on local leadership in Tanzania and responsive to what they have outlined their needs are and their hopes are for their community. And I'm just so proud that we continue to be an organization uh, that is really led uh, by our Tanzanian team uh, and, and leadership. That's the sort of thing that she wanted to do to help make something like that possible for others.